everyone, my name is Natalia Maria Wojciechowska and you may also know me as Rebel Ballerina. Today and now I will be presenting you a very effective ballerina feet workout. All you will need is uh, for today of course is uh, elastic TheraBand. Um, you have to choose your own resistance and the product that you like and the soft Remember, soft is very important. Soft yoga uh, cube. It cannot be this wooden one. It has to be the one that is uh, like a like a sponge. Okay. And so we will be starting soon. For now, just leave it. We will be warming up because remember, you should never perform any stretching or strengthening exercises without warming up. It will be very few, very funny exercises, okay? And you will feel a bit strange, but just try to follow. At the very beginning, you know, just um, stand stable on your feet. Your feet are very important. If you don't know it yet, then I will remind it to you uh, many, many times. Uh, remember that um, ballerina or you know, ballet male dancer is uh, created from feet up. Okay, and uh, how you use your feet, how you stand on your feet is crucial and this is what defines also a professional dancer. The quality of the feet move, uh, how the feet move and uh, your port de bras, okay? This is what uh, makes a visit card of every professional dancer. So this is basically why I would like to show you all the exercises I know for you to become the best version of yourself. So now, starting. It will be like this. It's, it's very simple, maybe funny, okay? But now, try to use your feet just like the cats do, okay? And try to do every movement with the resistance. It's very important that you will be using in this exercise, a very basic one, uh, you will be using your toes a lot. It will be movement like uh, as if you wanted to take something from the ground, okay, each time. And when you put your heel, this is your heel, when you put your heel down, it's not just dropping, but imagine that you are having a tennis ball, which is quite hard, um, under your heel and you have to press it down, okay? So all together it looks as if uh, you were doing a cat step or something like that, okay? And do it for about three minutes. It doesn't have to be very long, but you have to put a lot of heart and use of muscles into it, okay? So just let's do it for a little longer and then we will sit down and try doing some other exercises. Remember to breathe in and breathe out because your muscles, they need oxygen. No matter if you're using only your feet, anyway, the blood is circulating in your body and it needs a lot of oxygen for your muscles to work properly. Okay, so after when you feel already a little bit more secure, you can speed up a little bit but do not forget that even with speeding up you need to use your foot in a very precise way so don't just um, suddenly uh, use your feet like uh, flip-flops okay try to use muscles all the time with the proper strength okay so when you already feel a bit warmed up you can stop and sit down Okay, so after warming up, our first exercise to make your toes aware of their existence. Because sometimes I find, while teaching, I find that this is a big problem that students, they don't know that they have their toes, you know? And it's really important for a proper um, work um, of your feet, okay? Later on, in point shoes as well for girls. So, what we're doing, Look at your feet, do nothing, absolutely nothing. But just try to switch your brain into thinking that you have your toes right there, okay? After a while, it will become a very funny feeling. Um, 
that you would like to really move it. And when the steam will come, okay, do so. Uh -huh. And start with trying to move only one little toe, okay? At the very beginning, this exercise, okay, trying to move just the fifth toe, okay, will be very frustrating. You will be searching for the muscles to do it and your brain will be freaking out, like literally, it will be freaking out. But just try to move fifth toe, okay? Then after that, try to spread your toes as wide as possible, like this, like this with your fingers and like this with your toes to uh, make, uh, make this movement uh, stronger. And try not to not to do this like like that. Don't twist it, okay? But just spread them wide and try to make them long, beautiful and long, okay? Uh, and after that, just relax and then do it again ten times, okay? Spread it wide as if you wanted to detach the fifth thing, uh, the fifth toe from the feet, and relax and again and nine and relax and eight and relax and even more and relax and six and go and five and and four and three and two more and one and now starting going down with your toes from the, starting from the fifth toe, okay? And make sure that you keep them long and nice, okay? Going down and then up. Easy, okay? And again, spread and go down and then up again. And again, spread, go down. Yeah, try, try to separate them, okay? And relax. And four more. Going out and then down, toe by toe. Try and relax. And three. Spread, go down and relax. And two. Even more and better. Down and relax. And one, the best one. Go and relax okay going to next exercise exercise number two uh, i like to call it monkey feet okay we will be using our toes just like monkeys do okay and we will be trying to do the movement as if we were grabbing something okay but really strongly I can, I can show you like this, but don't twist your feet like this. They have to be really straight, okay? But for you to uh, see the move, I can do it, okay? So you're trying to use your toes really strongly. Uh -huh. And do it just like this, one and then another, one and another, okay? And then breathe in and breathe out and hold. Think of holding uh, some little uh, ball under your toes and like really squeezing everything out of it. Okay, hold and then again breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. And really, really squeeze and four more. Breathe in and breathe out. And again three and breathe out. And two and breathe out. And one and breathe out and hold. And now one and then the, the other one. Okay, try to pull it nicely, point it. Okay, don't don't stay just like this, but try to use your hip and all length of your uh, leg, but really strongly, as if you wanted to pull your leg and your toe as far as possible. Okay, and then keeping your toes just like this changing to the other foot and really pull out, okay? And then eight, and go, and seven, and hold, and try to use a lot of feeling into this movement. Hop, and go, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and 
and now stay, okay? And now bend your knees a little bit for your big toe, big toes, both of them, touch the, the floor and then try to, while straightening up the knees, try to keep the big, big toe on the ground. Okay, you may not see it, but it's like this. Okay, so bend your knees a little bit for your toes, big toes, be comfortable on the floor, on the ground. Okay, and when you are straightening up the knees, to try to um, hold them as low as possible, yeah? And try to really use all the strength in your muscles to point your toe and like really think about touching Wait, we're touching, touching with your toes towards the ground and then relax. Okay, exercise number three. Mm -hmm. Once we have already pointed our beautiful feet, uh, I always uh, try to explain that, okay, feet are feet, but when you connect it with the work of the quadriceps, of the thigh muscles, they have the tendency uh, to get a little bit uh, less strong, weaker, okay? So now we're going to work on that. Point your feet really strongly, don't let go. Switch on something in your brain to hold your feet as much as you can. And then tense your quadriceps muscles like you have never done before and like really hold your knees very strongly and try then to make sure that your um, toes are really, really pointed and you will be suffering. You will want to let go, but make sure that your brain is still switched on into the mode of pointing your feet and then, you know what, you still have 10 to 20%, so go, more. And then use everything what you have for today. Breathe in, breathe in, yeah, keep it, hold it, hold it, and then let go. And then repeat it at least four times. Okay, pointing feet, breathe in, and then breathe out. And hold it, and try even to make your back really beautiful and straight, and hold it, hold it, feel it here, feel it here, feel it here, feel it everywhere. Hold, hold, and then let go, and then again, three, and go, and hold, and hold, and if you think that th this is it, go even one millimeter more, go, and let go, and two, and go, and hold, really strongly, as if, you know, something really important uh, was depending on uh, how you hold your feet. You know, try to imagine this. Hold and let go. And the last time, one first point your feet and then straighten up the knees. Okay, and now we, we continue, okay? Once you have done this and your knees are really strong, just straighten up your back, your lower back. Don't sit like this, don't curve your back now. Go up and now just your toes. And one and two and three and four and three five and six and don't move your heel and now going to the flex don't twist your feet just go straight like this one and down through the demi point through the demi point and down i can show you like this and through the demi point and go and try to go as far as possible as if now as if you were like lifting something very heavy with the resistance and now try to imagine that you're painting something painting the wall and go down and four more and down and three and down and two and down and one and hold make your back even more strong make your knees even more strong and then let go I'm sure you're very tired right now and if not you haven't done the exercise in a proper way exercise number four now we are starting to use our yoga cube remember not wooden one but the soft one the spongy one okay so place it like this uh, towards the bar 
And now one foot is next to the cube and the other one pointed. Don't just, don't just let it go and relax and uh, not use any muscles. Point it, hold it and place on the cube. Why you place it on the cube? Remember, do not push your heel out towards the fifth toe or in towards the big toe. The heel has to just go up and you have to point your feet uh, in one line in the shin bind, okay? Um, towards the third and the second toe. Okay, once you have done this, think of movement as if you wanted to uh, push down the cube as much as possible with the strength of this leg, okay? And just press down and do it for eight and seven and six and five and do it with a feeling four and three and two and one hold we continue now uh, the other foot will be going on to the demi point but don't go with your body weight onto it keep the body weight on the leg which is placed on the cube that's really important and when you go down with your heel on the ground again think of the tennis ball being under the heel which you have to press down and make sure you do not do not relax this foot okay it still has to be pointed and tensed so we go eight and down and Seven and put body weight on the leg on the cube. Six and down and five down and of course put your shoulder blades down and three and down and two and down and now one and hold. Okay, we continue. Now that's the advanced uh, version. Uh, for really already strong feet, so if you don't feel quite secure, just better don't do it. So now the foot, which is still on the ground in the position of demi point, will be going into pointed foot like this. Make sure the leg on the cube is not going yet uh, straight. Uh -huh. Don't tense it. The knee is a little bit bent. So we go eight and then you point and seven and then you point and make sure you're pulling up and then you point and five and then you point and four and then you point and push from the floor and two okay and now one and hold really important don't bend from don't try to hang on the bar that's no use, that's not the exercise. Okay, and now when you have pointed this foot and you feel secure on the other one, now straighten up the knee. Eight, and little bend. But it's a very little bend. And bend, and six, and go, and five. Breathe in, breathe out. Four, and three, and two. And one, hold. Now really try to hold it. Make sure your knees are very tense. You are pulling yourself up. And then after five seconds, let go, but be very gentle, very gentle. And then do a demi point with the feet foot on which you are standing, but slowly, don't rush. And then flex, okay? And now, for your brain to understand that nothing bad has happened, use the foot. So, do a circle out, circle in, circle out. Now spread your toes, place the foot on the ground in a position of plie de knee. Okay, do, uh, do a little bit of bouncing. Okay, and then do foot number two. Exercise number five. 
So because we were using a lot of points, remember exercise number four, one foot and on the other foot, okay? But on exercise number five, I will be showing on the other foot. So we were pointing a lot, so now we have to work as well on our demi point. So now place your foot like this, not, not just your toes, not too far in, but in this very comfortable position. Okay, now relax your toes and put your heel down and relax. And you can even like stick your popo out to really stretch the Achilles tendon. Mm -hmm. Once you feel that it's been a bit relaxed, okay, now press your toes against the uh, cube, okay? So then the position of the leg has been tensed, okay? And then the other foot, just uh, lift it up, it doesn't matter how, just lift it up from the floor. And now go like half of centimeter or centimeter up, okay, with your heel. And we're going eight down and seven and six breathe in with your nose and breathe out with your mouth five and four and three and two and one now we continue lift up your heel one centimeter above the level of the cube eight and seven and six, and five, and four, pull up your knee, three, and two, and one, hold, and we continue. Now go all the way down, and all the way up. Just make sure you will not be going on to the fifth toe, because then you can easily twist your ankle. Go straight up, one and two, and when you are up on your demi point, okay? Don't just hang there, but try to push cube down with your second and third toe, as if you wanted to push it down, okay? It will be like a final move when you go up. So go up and then push, push, and down, and 10 more, 10, and down, and nine, and make it soft, fluent, gentle, and go, and down, and seven, and down, and six, breathe in, breathe out, five, and four and three even if you cannot continue two and one stay okay and now we will be doing a little move up down D down up sorry down up down up okay like a little bit like a spring so we go and we continue down up down up down up and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Go, stay, stay, still continue pushing down the cube with your second and third toe, and then let go. And to relax, stretch your Achilles tendon like this a little bit, going with your foot back, and bending your knee slightly. Okay, and don't forget to do the exercise number five with your other foot. Before we will uh, be doing the final exercises with the elastic uh, bands or any other elastic bands. Uh, and you still feel like you want to work on your arch a bit more. Okay, there is one more exercise apart from the one that I showed you uh, holding the bar and standing on your foot. I don't know if it's not enough, but for some it might be not. For me, it has never been enough. So I figured out the other exercise. Uh, just go on your knee, okay? And then uh, put your other uh, foot on the cube, okay? And make sure your heel is not going towards the fifth 
toe or too much towards the first the, the first toe okay and now um, make your make yourself comfortable for some the comfortable position will be on the knee for some it will be like this even so it doesn't matter uh, just to put a lot of weight on this foot okay I like this position and I like to do it just like this just like pushing down here and then uh, placing my uh, hand on my uh, heel and pushing this direction like out okay and just press it down and if you do it slightly this way the more tension will be going uh, onto the jumping joint okay but if you lift your knee up going with your body a little bit back then you will be stretching your ligaments here connecting the toes okay so it will be two completely different exercises so make sure you stay a bit a while in this position and then going back but still pushing the heel this this direction okay in this position and please be careful do not twist your ankle okay so for at least 15 seconds and put a lot of body weight on it uh -huh. and then let go and it should stay in this little like bended position good it's because we have formed the uh, bones in a special way by pressing it without using any tension of the muscles and now the muscles will be con like continuing the work on our foot and now uh, starting with the jumping joint and then like tensing your foot pointing it then the knee and uh, the final touch of the move are the toes okay and now if you think that this is really tense and you think you are using the 100 percent of your strength you are probably wrong so breathe in and then breathe out and really go for it and keep it keep it you should have a little cramps here in this um, area and hold it hold it even more P -p point your toes even more even more even more point your uh, make sure your knee is very very straight and then let go of course do not forget uh, to repeat the exercise uh, with the other foot Okay, so now the final exercises would be elastic bands. Uh, make sure uh, that it's not uh, too narrow because it will be uncomfortable to use it. Uh, and now like this. Place the elastic uh, band uh, under the bonion here and make sure it's tight. Uh, and here uh, on the line of the fifth toe also don't do it like this because it will probably uh, fall out but make sure it's quite deep uh, and uh, do something like this so it will stay really tight on the on your foot okay and then okay just make sure it's correct uh -huh. okay. and now with your straight back and with uh, both uh, um, both uh, arms uh, being tensed a bit, so don't just let them go and do nothing. Tense them a little bit. And now we will be doing only demi point and back, and demi point and back, and eight more, and seven with the resistance, and six and five make sure you don't twist it onto no not not to, towards inside not towards outside but just straight four and go and three and two and one okay now stay in this position uh, remember I'm, I'm not lifting my leg up it's just my x leg is going uh, you know a bit uh, up, so to make sure it's just like straightening up the knee okay I know it looks weird uh, to some of you and now um, um, keep your heel in this position don't move it anymore okay just work with your toes now eight 
and seven and point them and six and five and four and three keep your knees straight and two and one and we continue and now going up through the demi point to the flex position don't relax your knee just make it really strong and then through the demi point back to point position and go like this eight and down and seven and six and five make sure the move is really precise four and three and two and one and again just the toes and one and two as you can see we are spinning up a bit and four and three and two and one and go eight and down and seven even if you get tired continue and five and four and three and two and one and again and one and speed up and four and five and six and seven and eight and go up and down and up and down and six more and five more and four more and three and two and one and go and now keep it like really strongly Point it, point it even more, even more. Your knee goes even more tensed. And relax. The last exercise. It's like a final touch. You don't have to do it anymore. But you know, it's like, um, if you wanna have a like, foot, a uh, full, sorry. Full foot, <laughs> already getting tired. Uh, if you want to have like a full foot, feet workout, uh, then it, it would be good to do this last exercise. Uh, it's a bit um, funny the, the position of the elastic band. Okay, uh, but try, try to repeat. I know people are getting a little bit freaked out with this one. Uh, because they don't know how to exactly place the elastic band. So, it, we start like this. Mm -hmm. and now, we're crossing the elastic under the foot. Okay, and now, uh, tense it and place the, 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 the cross or whatever it is uh, here on the, uh, under, under the heel, okay? Do like this, go like this and now put it on the ground. Okay, and now, okay, make sure that this is like really staying on the foot, point. And this, this will be a very good exercise, of course, strengthen, strengthen the ankle, but to work on this, on this beautiful muscle that is also creating a beautiful um, arch of the foot, okay? And then go up and up and down and down with the resistance and up and up and down and down make sure it's going through the demi point to flex position and through the demi point to point and still eight and down and seven and down you can also do it on the very straight knee but there is no such necessity and five and down and if you do it correctly then already after a few times you will be going like what is it? Whoa! And three and down and two and the last time go down. Okay, and now just the toes and one and two and three and four to ten, five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. And now when I say that you have to repeat it, you should be going like this, what? No way, but you have to, okay? To make, it, make your foot really strong, go one, and down, and two, and three, up to eight, four, and five, even for me, I go like, whoa, three more, and two, I said three more, so now two, and 
one, down and again only the toes, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Great! And now the, 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 the little exercise just to finish whole workout, okay? It will be in the same position, okay? And now to create this beautiful line of the under or feet, you know, so desired, not just like this, for sure not like this, but going a little bit out. Okay, so the same position on the elastic, and now just going like tick, tack, tick, tack, up, tick, tack, tick, tack. Make sure you're not going in, okay? But just out, go back, out, go back, out. Go back, up, go back. Even if you cannot do it at the very beginning and you know you're trying to move it and it's just not moving, just try, keep on trying, okay? Just moving out, up. You can do it with both feet, even with the without the elastic, at the at the very end, without the elastic, pointing your feet really strongly down and then trying to keep your toes as low as possible and then just going out, out. Out. You don't have to keep your knees uh, straight, but just work on uh, this side of the muscles. Uh -huh. It should be uh, it should be looking like this. That when uh, when the foot is pointed like really straight, it looks like this the muscle. And when it's pointed in a more tense way, there there is a little like a hole become uh, in the muscle. Okay. So that would be it. All the secrets of strong, elastic, beautifully arched uh, ballerina feet.